Brace yourself for an adrenaline-pumping tale that unfolded on a secluded road in the heart of Gloversville. Everything goes haywire when a city cop rushes to handle some chaos. At the crossroads of West Fulton Street and South Burton Avenue, our officers find themselves in the middle of a wild, disorderly conduct situation. Out of nowhere, a pickup truck smashes into the officer and speeds away, leaving them injured. We're left in the dark about the officer's condition and what the heck just went down. The police started chasing and immediately called for backup. Fast forward, and guess who gets caught in the web of suspicion? None other than a 71-year-old Robert F. Bulger. He's slapped with charges like reckless endangerment and assault for the hit-and-run escapade. In the small town of Waupun, Wisconsin, a deputy's sharp eyes caught something that could have turned disastrous. It was all thick smoke swirling, flames roaring, chaos reigning, but our deputy, undaunted, springs into action. What happens next is like a scene from a heart-pounding movie. Hey! Hey! Get out of your house! We gotta get you out! Hey! Come on! We gotta come out! As the camera rolls, you see it all. Flames hungrily devouring a rural home. Smoke swallowing visibility. Tension hangs thick in the air. Urgency crackling like electricity. Sheriff's office! Is everybody out? The deputy's urgent commands cut through the chaos, urging residents to escape, but it's no easy feat. The smoke is a formidable obstacle. Still, the deputy pushes forward, determined. Then a moment of sheer suspense, the shattering of a window, a lifeline for those trapped inside. In the face of danger, bravery takes center stage. In a heart-pounding moment captured by the King County Sheriff's Office, a criminal attempts to outsmart the cops, but a surprise awaits. There's a steep drop off on the other side, but that's where he's at. And just so you know, there's uh, about four or five cops just west of you. Be careful of crossfire. From high above, the Guardian One helicopter's thermal camera tracks every move, turning the chase into a suspenseful game. Below, Kent police officers, aided by their K-9 companion, close in on the suspect. With FLIR technology guiding their steps, tension rises in a race against time. Looks like he's been located. Yeah, Guardian, they're uh, trying to take one into custody. This footage showcases how modern tools empower law enforcement, ensuring real-time safety for communities. Watch as the chase unfolds, leaving you on the edge of your seat, eagerly anticipating the outcome in this thrilling game of hide-and-seek. In Frio County's heart, chaos unfolds as a 15-year-old takes the wheel, leading DPS troopers on a rain-soaked high-speed chase. Each twist is a potential disaster, with lives hanging in the balance. But this is just the beginning. The 12-year-old runaway reveals a darker side, entangled in a web of crime. The stolen vehicle isn't merely an escape. It harbors secrets capable of shattering perceptions. As charges mount against the teen driver, evading arrest, human smuggling, unauthorized vehicle use and drug possession, a tangled mess of criminal activities demands attention, weaving a suspenseful narrative of peril and hidden truths. On a chilling December 31st, 2017 night, Officer Jonathan Kramer navigates treacherous Texas roads. The dash camera captures a tense scene, five vehicles losing control. Amid the chaos, Officer Kramer thinks fast, narrowly avoiding disaster by following safety protocols. This heart-stopping incident isn't just survival. It's a stark reminder of officers' unpredictable challenges. But the story doesn't end there. The footage unfolds a gripping dance between police and unforgiving weather. Every skid and swerve adds a nail-biting piece to the puzzle, revealing the high-stakes reality of patrolling hazardous roads. In the eerie silence of a Sunday morning near Baldwin and Brown Roads, a speeding vehicle tore through the shadows. It wasn't a mere joyride, but a perilous dance with disaster. Denver, 
The deputy on patrol spotted the recklessness, unaware of the impending life or death situation. With a screech, the car veered off, crashing into the dense woods, flipping and erupting in flames. Amidst the chaos, a hero emerged. Flashing lights and blaring sirens, the deputy charged towards the inferno. Risking all, battling heat and smoke, they fought time to free a trapped teenager. Against all odds, they succeeded. The 18-year-old was pulled to safety. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. You broke your, something wrong? Yeah! What's wrong? I think my legs broke. Stay there, hold on. It's a hot summer day, August 16th, 2020. The sun beats down on a quiet highway as police officers gear up for a high-stakes pursuit. No plan, L1, take it. Devil. Yeah, definitely at the uh, older Honda Civic green sticker in the back window. What starts as a routine traffic stop for speeding transforms into a heart-pounding chase involving a mysterious blue Honda hatchback. As the pursuit unfolds, the blue hatchback weaves through traffic, skillfully evading every attempt by the police to bring it to a halt. The Port Orange and Daytona Beach Police Departments join the chase, turning the road into a battleground. Did you guys hit him or not? Down no, there. The blue hatchback darts onto Interstate 4, with Air 1 providing a bird's eye view. Just when escape seems possible, tire deflation devices come into play. In a dramatic twist, the vehicle crashes into a ditch, revealing the driver as Kevin Morales, a 24-year-old. His arrest follows, charged with reckles, driving and fleeing the police. In a quiet Laredo town on January 13th, 2021, an ominous event transpired. It's in the trailer expired. Oh, you really? Yeah, you have your, uh, right now you're under arrest What's for the vehicle being stolen. The Texas Department of Public Safety, TXDPS, unveiled a shocking smuggling operation, sending shivers through the community. During a routine vehicle inspection, police officers noticed an ordinary trailer with expired plates. Behind the worn-out plates hid a dark secret. Like detectives in a suspenseful movie, they delved deeper, revealing a stolen vehicle concealing an unthinkable cargo. Any juvenile, sir? The tension rose as officers opened wooden crates one by one, exposing 22 hidden individuals, a scene reminiscent of a nail-biting thriller. Gasps filled the air as the truth unfolded, a human smuggling operation under their noses. But the story doesn't end there. The perpetrators were swiftly brought to justice and the stolen vehicle was recovered. It was on a sunny day outside a public grocery store in Florida. The atmosphere crackles with tension. Armed with a pitchfork and whip, a woman attacks a minivan. The reason is shrouded in mystery. The store manager urgently dials the police. As they arrive, a standoff unfolds. The woman, claiming a divine mission, demands unusual items. Officers attempt to reason, but she remains defiant. Oh Lord God, come on. We're into this. Come on, God. Bring it out of this car. Suspense heightens as they navigate the unpredictable situation, trying to de-escalate. Despite their efforts, her erratic behavior persists, culminating in a dramatic arrest for aggravated assault with a dangerous weapon. The air, once tense, now lingers with the unanswered question. What drove her to such extremes? Oh, where's everybody? They were so quick to take me away before. Why aren't you raising your hand? In the dense woods of Florida, Deputy Michael Sentner and his loyal canine partner Jaeger embarked on a mission captured by body cam. Racing against time, they pursued a suspect who vanished into the trees after a dramatic tire blowout from a stolen vehicle. Suddenly, the tension escalated as Jaeger's keen senses picked up the trail, leading them deeper into the unknown. With each step, the anticipation mounted, echoing through the silent forest. Then, a breakthrough. The footage revealed a heart-pounding moment as Jaeger, with lightning speed, cornered the elusive suspect, his bark echoing triumphantly through the trees. It was a victory for the police, a testament to their relentless pursuit of justice. Get 
Police in Alaska arrested Jose 30 after he allegedly touched a 10-year-old girl in the Walmart frozen food section. The suspect of this whole thing prior to this incident with the juvenile was inside Subway, bought a sub sandwich, used your debit card. The girl's mother witnessed the incident and chased Jose, who fled in his truck. Shop cameras at the Walmart sandwich shop helped police connect Joey to the crime. Grab a, a child in a grocery aisle. At first, he said he didn't do it, but the police checked his credit card details and figured it out. After a brief investigation, police apprehended him at his workplace. His unusual behavior upon arrest has raised questions. Josie faces charges of child sexual assault and resisting arrest. In the early hours of Sunday, chaos unfolded in Dearborn. At the Dearborn Fresh Supermarket, 28-year-old Marcus Flowers struck, setting the building ablaze. Surveillance footage captured the chilling scene as he vanished into the night. A nail-biting chase ensued through city streets, recorded by Dash and body cams. Despite evasive maneuvers, officers relentlessly pursued Flowers. In a tense parking lot moment, he crashed into a patrol car, fleeing on foot with desperation on his face. Officers closed in swiftly, ensuring his capture. Who's this guy? I don't know. Go back in your car. With Marcus Flowers in custody, the community could breathe a sigh of relief, their safety preserved by the determined police. Deep in the heart of Texas, near Kingsville, suspense unfolded as the Department of Public Safety intercepted a utility truck carrying 15 illegal immigrants. The tension heightened when the driver, suspected of being a cunning smuggler, initiated a heart-pounding escape. A dash cam recorded the DPS troopers engaging in a nail-biting chase through the vast Texan landscape. In a daring twist, the driver and some occupants disappeared into dense undergrowth, sparking a suspenseful cat and mouse game. Undeterred by the challenges, troopers pursued through unforgiving terrain. In a gripping climax, they overcame nature's obstacles, apprehending the fleeing individuals and securing the safety of the immigrants. In a quiet Edgewater neighborhood, something unimaginable unfolded when deputies rushed to a report of a suspicious person near a neighbor's property. Open that door, get on your knees. Get down! Get down! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Face down! The scene became tense as they uncovered a 35-year-old burglary suspect, James Jambra, now in custody. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Inside the home, deputies were shocked to find not just stolen goods, but also a four-year-old girl with Jambra. The situation escalates with charges of child neglect, intensifying the burglary and drug-related accusations. The community grapples with the audacious crime, the innocent child caught in the crossfire. Giambra faces a multitude of charges, from drug possession to endangering a child, as the horrifying details unfold. Sean Torres, suspect in a botched Deltona family dollar robbery. Darting through shadows, Torres reached a pond, submerging himself, face visible above the waterline. He will be about 20 to 30 yards off your nose. 300. A silent cat and mouse game played out as K-9 units and deputies advanced. The Air One helicopter guided forces to Torres's watery refuge. Tension peaked as Torres, submerged, claimed innocence. A bizarre narrative unfolded, from heist to aquatic evasion. In the end, Torres surrendered, avoiding a canine showdown, revealing a misguided loyalty symbolized by his loyalty tattoo and facing the consequences of his actions. In an intense story from Atlanta, things got wild when 29-year-old Mikkel Parker took control of a police car during a regular traffic stop. The drama unfolded as Parker, in a stolen cruiser, raced through the city streets with wild abandon. Officers scrambled to stop him, but the situation quickly escalated into a chase. He's, he's, 
Dashcam footage captures the tense moments as Parker skillfully maneuvers the stolen cruiser, putting lives and property at risk. The chase hurtles towards disaster as Parker loses control, sending the cruiser tumbling onto train tracks. <laughs> In a nail-biting twist, officers heroically extract Parker just before an oncoming train thunders through. Parker's reckless spree resulted in multiple felony charges, including theft, fleeing, and reckless driving, landing him in Fulton County Jail. In the calm town of Galveston, Texas, a spooky mystery played out, like something from a thrilling movie. A masked figure, reminiscent of the infamous Michael Myers, terrorized the beach with a bloody knife in hand. When the police finally caught the person behind the mask, it was revealed to be a man named Mark. However, what could have escalated into a scene straight out of a horror movie took an unexpected twist as police apprehended the masked individual, later identified as Mark. Rather than facing immediate arrest, Mark was given the option of receiving a citation for disorderly conduct, a decision he willingly accepted. No, I wouldn't say that walking around in a costume necessarily is what's against the law. It's causing the alarm to the general public. While acknowledging the charge, Mark seemed oblivious to any wrongdoing, leaving everyone puzzled about his motives. The incident, initially resembling a horror movie scene, ended with an unanswered question. What truly drove Mark's unusual behavior? Amidst a high-stakes pursuit on August 9, 2022, Texas DPS troopers engaged a silver Chevrolet SUV, transporting six illegal immigrants in Webb County. The captured footage reveals the intense communication among officers tracking the vehicle. The pursuit unfolds on US 83, mile marker 686, with the SUV's erratic movements and the troopers strategically positioning spike strips. As the chase reaches a climax, the SUV collides with a Dodge pickup. The aftermath is a scene of chaos, concealing the fate of those involved. The driver, apprehended on the ground, faces charges of human smuggling, evading and reckless driving. The illegal immigrant's destiny hangs in the balance as they were referred to the US Border Patrol. Hey, he crashed into him. I don't know if he's okay. Yeah. In the quiet night, chaos erupts as a suspect brazenly points a laser at an aircraft, endangering lives. The drone's watchful eye captures the unfolding drama. The police, alerted to the threat, swiftly responded to the ominous act. Okay, he's in the front door entryway. It looks, looks like he's got it in his hand. Got him on video. Yeah, he's hitting us again right now. At 2.06 a.m., tension heightens as they confront the individual in the front yard, armed with a laser pointer. The gravity of the situation becomes apparent, emphasizing the need for public awareness. The suspect, shockingly unaware of the illegality, faces the consequences of his actions. On a sunny afternoon in Florida, there was a wild pursuit. A sleek black pickup maneuvers skillfully through city streets, closely pursued by relentless police. Overhead, a vigilant helicopter keeps watch as the chase unravels with gripping suspense. As the pursuit nears railway tracks, the driver executes a daring 180-degree turn, but a collision with a metal barricade sends the vehicle tumbling, its door swinging open. Unfazed, the determined suspect makes a break for an open warehouse, leaving the police in hot pursuit. With unwavering resolve, the cops swarm in, swiftly capturing the fleeing driver. The chaotic chase grinds to an abrupt halt, leaving viewers teetering on the edge, hungry for the dramatic twists still to come in this unfolding saga.
In a swift and coordinated operation led by Sheriff Mike Chitwood, the cops successfully apprehended a fleeing suspect on December 4, 2019, in Volusia County. The suspect, Joshua Dale Hand, 33, found himself ensnared by authorities after a high-stakes pursuit that traversed multiple highways, including I-4 and I-95. What's the description of it, uh, Bevel and I-4? It's a white Dodge pickup truck. It's got flashing lights on the uh, roof in the back. Hand now stares down a barrage of charges, from grand theft auto to drug possession. This gripping takedown showcased the police's relentless pursuit of justice. Up here, we got it. We're deputy. All right, we're coming towards you. We're getting ready to go under the open fence here for the Sheriff Chitwood and his team's precision and swift actions demonstrated the power of proactive policing. Despite the danger, they upheld the law, swiftly neutralizing the threat Hand posed to the community. Under the scorching sun, cops arrested some bad guys in a fancy dance. Behind the wheel of a beat-up sedan, two figures gripped the wheel, knuckles white. The rhythmic thud of the police chopper overhead was a harbinger of doom. Love you, hands! Everybody, hands! Right behind you, Mike. Put your hands on the roof! They chased them down a highway, then surrounded them in a gun store. A family got out safe, leaving behind a red truck. Time was running out, so the cops blocked the exits and yelled for the suspects to come out with their hands up. It was like a game of chess, where every move mattered. You'll get shot if you do that again. Take two steps to the left outside the car. Watch that back. Turn around. The bad guys knelt, hands tied. The cops found scary guns, big rifles with bullets ready to fire. But the cops stopped them, took the guns, and ended the danger. It was a close call, but the cops planned well and saved the day. In a gripping police chase, Daniel Laverty, notorious for burglaries and theft, stole a Kia Sportage in Brighton. Pursued along the A-23, he faced an intense chase, helicopters hovering, and police cars closing in. In a dramatic climax, Laverty crashed the stolen car, pinned down, claiming a broken wrist. Two days later, he continued a stealing spree in Brighton. Arrested and charged, Laverty denied all charges in court. However, the evidence, including doorbell footage, exposed his lies. Sentenced to seven and a half years, Laverty's crime spree came to a dramatic end. In the quiet town of Forsyth County, Georgia, something big went down on a regular day in August 2022. It all started when the police got an urgent alert about a silver Ford Focus tied to a robbery at the outlet shops. But little did they know, this was just the beginning of an unfolding story. A silver Ford Fusion, hurtling down GA400, carried four not-so-innocent ladies. Crime Reduction Unit deputies, on high alert, witnessed a scene straight from an action movie. What ensued was a high-speed chase with screeching tires and blaring sirens, the cops deploying daring maneuvers to bring the quartet, Jasmine, Deshauna, Benaldia, and Marquita, to justice. Let also know I have them stop. We're southbound is 413. As officers delved into their backgrounds, shocking revelations emerged. Marquita held counterfeit cash, and Jasmine had a carjacking warrant from Gwinnett County. Rinaldia and Marquita found themselves behind bars, facing charges ranging from reckless driving to marijuana possession and two ND degree forgery at Forsyth County Jail. On January 23, 2023, a Texas Department of Public Safety DPS trooper made a crucial stop as part of Operation Lone Star. The trooper pulled over a vehicle near Del Rio in Valverde County for a routine traffic violation on SL-79. What seemed like a normal check suddenly turned serious as evidence of human smuggling unfolded. Inside the vehicle, hidden in the trunk, was a man from Iran among five illegal immigrants. One Ecuador, third. Three hundred. Three hundred? Yeah. And then this guy's from Iran, but he's got a, or Turkey, but he's got an Iran passport. The Houston-based driver was swiftly arrested. Despite his denial, the trooper's decisive actions revealed compelling evidence, resulting in charges of human smuggling. Get in the intercepted individuals are now in police custody, handed over to Border Patrol for processing, marking a crucial breakthrough in combating illegal activities. Roll down all the windows first. Roll down all the windows first. Roll down all the windows. All of them. 
On July 25, 2022, Arkansas State Police engaged in a high-speed pursuit with a woman driving a lifted truck. Dashcam footage captures the tension as she tries to escape towards Oklahoma. Commands are shouted for her to show her hands, but she continues to drive erratically. With officers closing in, the truck finally stops. Out back here. They cautiously approach, demanding cooperation. Following protocol, they instruct her to turn off the truck and roll down the windows. Finally, she's taken into custody without further incident. It's a tense chase with a dramatic ending, reminding viewers of the risks of evading police. Yeah, well, give us the air. We got one running on the power lines here. Over, uh, actually, I got multiple people. Beneath the moonlit New Smyrna Beach, two audacious burglars struck cell phone stores at 1 a.m., shattering the silence at AT&T with unsuccessful attempts at Sprint and Verizon. They're in, uh, that woods looks pretty thick, and I want they're trying to make their way towards the uh, storage facility to the north. Police swiftly responded, suspect descriptions crackling through the airwaves. Surveillance videos revealed the criminals and their vehicle details broadcasted on police radio. Deputy Justin Ferrari, monitoring a Metro PCS store, awaited the next move. A white Dodge Journey and a black Honda Accord triggered alarms. The suspects, Craig Blunt Jr. and Savan Broaden, raced away but faced a relentless pursuit. Hey, do you want us in? He's got 11012. Stop sticks punctured their escape. The black accord became a roadblock. The night culminated in Debarry, with Blunt and Broaden in custody, marking the end of a suspenseful crime spree. Imagine you're cruising down a Florida interstate on May 4th, 2018, minding your own business. Little do you know, just around the corner, a heart-stopping moment is about to unfold. Suddenly, chaos erupts on the road. Your heart races as you witness a terrifying spin-out, a split-second reminder of how unpredictable the journey can be. In the Antelope Valley, chaos erupts as a stolen party bus crashes into another car, ending a dramatic police chase. bus, reportedly stolen from San Diego County, sets off a pursuit with California Highway Patrol officers hot on its tail. As the chase unfolds, tension mounts as viewers wonder what will happen next. Will the driver escape or will the police catch up? With each twist and turn, the suspense builds, culminating in a violent collision that leaves everyone on edge. It's a high-stakes chase with an uncertain outcome, keeping viewers glued to their screens. In Kinney County, a frantic pursuit ensues as a smuggler from Dallas races away from troopers at 110 miles per hour. The chase ends in a dramatic crash on a ranch, sending the driver and passenger fleeing, but their escape is short-lived, thanks to DPS aircraft swooping in to aid in their capture. Inside the vehicle, authorities uncover five illegal immigrants, including a terrified four-year-old from Cuba. The stakes are high as charges loom for the smugglers, and the immigrants face uncertain futures. It's a gripping tale of danger and desperation on the border. All right, we're gonna have a bell out, bell out, bell out, bell out. In Mission, Texas, a 15-year-old from Mexico led police on a high-speed chase that culminated in a dramatic bailout on February 14th. The pursuit began when officers attempted to pull over the teen, prompting a frantic attempt to evade capture. Dashcam footage captured the tense moments as the chase unfolded, with the team navigating through streets and dirt roads in an attempt to escape police. Despite the risky maneuvers, officers maintained pursuit, eventually leading to the team's arrest. Alright, we're gonna have a bell out, bell out, bell out, bell out. Oh, oh, oh. Charged with smuggling of persons and evading arrest, the young driver now faces serious legal consequences for his actions. Additionally, the seven migrants he was allegedly smuggling were apprehended after a brief foot chase and subsequently turned over to Border Patrol custody. It was the night of January 22, 2018, when chaos erupted at a Coles store in Westerville, Ohio. A man tried to swipe a big TV in the scuffle, but got caught by a security guard. Okay. Catch up with two. Thank you.
As darkness fell, Westerville cops faced a tough challenge, but they didn't give up. They set up a perimeter and started hunting the suspect one step at a time. Then they called for backup from the Ohio State Highway Patrol's aviation unit. Going down prone, 75 stop. 75 stop if you can get to those units or have them at that point. Equipped with thermal imaging tech, the helicopter crew joined the hunt. With their special camera, they could spot heat signatures in the dark. And sure enough, they found the suspect hiding, invisible to the naked eye. On August 17th, 2022, Flint, Michigan, witnessed an intense chase as Grand Blanc Township Police pursued a Dodge Challenger Hellcat at 150 miles per hour. Racing on Interstate 475, the Hellcat outpaced ground units, prompting a call for airborne assistance. The Michigan State Police helicopter, armed with forward-looking infrared FLIR technology, locked onto the Hellcat's hot wheels, enabling tracking in darkness. Despite speeds matching the Hellcat, the helicopter followed the suspect into a suburb. Lincoln Drive. Driver's door is open. Lincoln, that's Lincoln in Chicago. Walked into an address next door, which I think is a... A 45-minute manhunt ensued, aided by a perimeter and canine units, leading to the suspect's arrest without incident. Identified as a 23-year-old male, he faced felony charges of fleeing and eluding. The driver is facing straight off that first patrol car and behind the house. I have lost him for the time being underneath some trees. If we get a perimeter grab in. The outcome of his legal proceedings remains undisclosed. The female passenger's identity and involvement were not disclosed. The Hellcat was impounded, bringing a dramatic end to a high-speed pursuit captured by police and aerial units. In Deltona, shooting suspects Rayon Rattigan and Jack Wayne Tyson were captured at State Road, 46 and I-4 after a high-speed chase. Tracked by Air One from Gloria Drive, they fled in a silver Honda Accord. He's found on 46 now, passing under I-4. Rattigan faced warrants for attempted first-degree murder, shooting into an occupied dwelling, aggravated fleeing, and habitual driving with a suspended license, reaching speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour on I-4. Detective Don Maxwell sustained minor injuries in the collision. Sheriff Mike Chitwood praised deputies for the safe apprehension, emphasizing community safety. Rattigan, out on bond for weapons and drug charges, had a seized handgun in the vehicle, linked to ongoing shooting investigations. In a recent incident, Columbus Police dash cam footage unfolded a dramatic confrontation with a wrong-way driver on Interstate 670. Early Sunday morning, officers Jeffrey Ward and Joshua Buck spotted a white Ford Taurus heading west in the eastbound lanes. Upon attempting to pull over the vehicle, the driver initially slowed down, but then accelerated. With precision, Ward and Buck executed a pit maneuver, forcefully stopping the car by wedging it into the median. Ford was swiftly apprehended, facing charges of operating a vehicle impaired, or OVI. I hope that you're not getting it because it's not safe for me. For you to have it back, then I don't know where you're at. I'm not with you, you are going in the court. No, sir. As the sun began to set on July 30th, 2022, Brevard County troopers raced to I-95 near Sebastian after reports of a golf cart cruising along the busy highway. Upon arrival, they found a peculiar scene, a semi-truck halted on the shoulder with a golf cart parked in front. The trucker explained he had encountered a woman, Diane Hawke, steering the air cart in the middle of the road. <laughs> With quick thinking, the truck driver managed to guide the cart to safety and snatch away the keys from Hawk. But when officers arrived, Hawk's demand for her luggage unveiled a surprise, an open bottle of Jack Daniels. The situation intensified as Hawk resisted arrest, culminating in a tense showdown before she was subdued. All you to that is in in the dashcam footage from May 22, 2022, of an Arkansas State Police pursuit, officers engage in a high-stakes chase that culminates in a successful pit maneuver to stop the suspect's vehicle. The video showcases the intensity and precision of police tactics during the pursuit. With your left hand, open the door and step out facing away from me. 
As the pursuit unfolds, officers can be heard instructing the suspect to show his hands and exit the vehicle. Despite initial resistance, the suspect complies with orders and is eventually apprehended without further incident. After the pit maneuver is executed, officers swiftly move to secure the suspect, instructing him to step out of the vehicle and comply with their commands. The suspect, identified as Johnny, is taken into custody without incident. During the arrest, officers discover potential evidence, including drugs and needles, further implicating the suspect in criminal activity. Don't touch me. Stop touching me. What you have to understand is I have... I don't care. I'm requesting a female. On June 12, 2022, in Wausau, Wisconsin, police spotted 24-year-old Talise Machipoto, wanted on a felony, sunbathing in a park via city cameras. Stop. No! Take me to f***ing jail! I asked if there was a f***ing jail! Jail! Stop. Stop. No! Stop. That's what we know. Ignoring commands, she walked away. As officers tried to detain her, she resisted, demanding a female officer 35 minutes away. She refused to cooperate and insisted on immediate jail, causing tensions to rise. Adamantly rejecting searches, she demanded a female officer. Do you want me to follow instead you since you're out of here soon? Yeah, I made myself primary. You guys took the other two warrants. So, yeah. During a search attempt, she allegedly spat on an officer, resisting arrest. Tallies faced felony charges for battery, threatening an officer, bail jumping twice, and discharging bodily fluids at an officer, plus misdemeanors. Some charges were dropped, but she received jail time for other offenses. It appears he's going the wrong way. Okay, he's pulling into, he's cutting through yards. It's a dark night in Metro Detroit as Trooper 2 joins the pursuit. The suspect zooms down Gracia Avenue, followed closely by the trooper's camera, but this is just the beginning of the chase. Uh, he's going the wrong way. Uh, now he's doing a U-turn. He's doing the U-turn, so he's going to be going southbound. The suspect twists and turns, trying to shake off the trooper on their tail. They dart through the streets, turning off their headlights and disappearing into the darkness. It's like a game of hide-and-seek with high stakes. Yeah, just north of the uh, casino, Motown. As the chase heats up, the suspect takes desperate measures. They cut through yards, dart under the interstate, doing anything to avoid capture. But Trooper 2 is relentless, following their every move. Just when it seems like the suspect might escape, they make a fatal mistake. Abandoning their vehicle, they take off on foot. But Trooper 2 and the backup units are hot on their trail. In a dramatic showdown near Grand River Avenue, the suspect is cornered and taken into custody. In this live on patrol highlight from March 10th, 2023, Deputy Sparks spotted a vehicle with temporary license plates, which should be affixed to the rear of the vehicle. However, upon inspection, he noticed that the plates were missing. He initiated a stop near Rice and Cycorn to investigate further. 217, one's going to be probably going into custody here. Deputy Sparks proceeded to detain the driver, a young male in a dark BMW 5 Series, and informed dispatch of the warrant. Another deputy, Kathy, was requested to assist with transport. Despite the inconvenience of postponing plans, the driver cooperated with the police. The deputy noted the driver's willingness to be a responsible and sober driver, even though he had to address prior obligations. Ultimately, the driver was taken into custody at the jail to resolve the outstanding warrant. A helicopter from the Ohio State Highway Patrol played a crucial role in assisting police in apprehending a suspect who allegedly had drugs and a firearm in his possession. First party, why would you pull in but I don't have actual eyes on the car? Copy, we're coming around on the back side. Let's see if he's there. Do you have uh, enough units there to move on this guy? The incident unfolded around 2 p.m. when the suspect, identified as Marrow, was spotted driving at high speed, passing a cruiser with officers and troopers on a special anti-violence patrol. Officers attempted to pursue Marrow, while the helicopter overhead tracked his movements to an apartment complex. Despite Marrow's attempt to evade capture, the helicopter crew maintained visual contact. Eventually, Marrow returned to his vehicle, where troopers were waiting to take him into custody. Who's... Did we find... No, I, I just him. pulled over. I found a man. They were walking in the road? Yes, it's me. 
It starts with a motorist and a mail carrier going about their day, but then they spot something unusual on US-1. The search leads to a mobile home in Oak Hill, where a deputy finds Yajira Tirado and Jacob Kruger. You know, you're gonna sit in the back of my car for a second? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely is. Come here. Oh, hey, little man. Oh, oh you poor little diaper. But there's a problem. They're passed out, possibly from drugs, and the conditions inside are worse than anyone imagined. Broken bottles, sharp objects, and trash everywhere. Kind of like what we almost have in you. Oh no, the car is rocking! While the child is safe in the hands of the mail carrier, the clock is ticking. With Tirado and Kruger out cold, who knows what could happen next? It's a race to get them to safety and hold those responsible accountable. It's a regular day until Arkansas State Police spot a speeding Chevy SUV. They flick on the lights and the dash cam captures the action. But this isn't your average traffic stop. The driver has other plans. The pursuit kicks off and the suspect isn't slowing down. They weave through traffic like a pro, leaving the cops struggling to keep up. Every turn and every twist of the road ramps up the tension. As the chase heats up, the suspect's driving gets wilder. Red lights mean nothing as they barrel through intersections, risking everyone's safety. It's a heart-pounding game of cat and mouse. Over at the end of Red Wagon Road. Then, a crucial moment near Red Wagon Road. The suspect takes a sharp turn, but their luck runs out. The SUV flips, chaos unfolding in an instant. But even that doesn't stop the chase. Despite the crash, the cops don't back down. They call in reinforcements, determined to catch the fleeing driver. It's a race against time as they close in on their target. Late at night in Deltona, a report comes in about a mysterious U-Haul truck with three individuals inside, possibly up to no good. Behind the house, towards Orange running towards Orange from Alexander. Three people out of the vehicle running eastbound. Then, when a deputy tries to stop them, they hit the gas and run. Up above, Air One, the watchful eye in the sky, spots the truck again, this time in Port Orange. But then, something strange happens. If you resist or obstruct or oppose us any further, okay? We will arrest you and we will take you to jail. No, I don't need okay. At first, a resident denies knowing anything about the suspects, but the helicopter's camera tells a different story. Hidden in the house, right under everyone's noses, the suspects lurk. One suspect decides to give up without a fight, but what about the other two? They're found pretending to be asleep, hoping to escape notice. Then she decided to tell us, yes, they're inside, two of them are sleeping. Who the hell are you? What was you doing in my house? Who are you? What the hell is going on? But the law catches up with them too. In the aftermath, names emerge. Ricky Edwards, Laren Manning, and Michael Jackson. They're not just fleeing the law, they're caught with fake money too. And then, a twist in the tale. A resident's daughter, once silent, finally confesses to hiding the suspects. Late on April 30th, 2023, officers rush to the scene after reports of a drunk man wandering the streets. As they arrive, tensions simmer beneath the surface. <laughs> Which house is it? Melody, yeah, uh, huh? Words hang heavy in the air as tempers threaten to boil over. Despite efforts to defuse the situation, the confrontation intensifies. Accusations fly back and forth, escalating the drama. Uh, I'm here to ask you that, or I'm in there to ask you that. Huh? You, you want to start? Right? Stop. Why, why are you all pushing because me? Because you're Stop backing up against around, me. Right? Viewers watch with bated breath, unsure of how it will all end. But in the midst of the chaos, one thing is certain. This encounter is far from over, and its repercussions will be felt long after the night is over. In a gripping dashcam footage, Arkansas State Police, ASP, initiated a high-stakes pursuit, attempting a pit maneuver to stop the fleeing suspect. The plan backfires, letting the suspect escape. As tension rises, the 16-year-old suspect expertly navigates through traffic, outsmarting the officers on their tail. The chase's intensity hangs thick as ASP officers plot their next move. If I just had a failed pit, I'm on. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, they're continuing on Hemlock. Uh, can I get a 1011 from the other stage? In gripping Metro Detroit footage from January 22nd, Michigan State Police, MSP, pursues a reckless driver, leading to a dramatic arrest. Going to a court. 
The chase begins on West 96 in Southfield as MSP tries to catch a speeding challenger, blazing past at 112 miles per hour. Tension rises as the suspect weaves through neighborhoods, dodging police. Turn this lights off. The pursuit heats up on Bradley Court in Westfield, where the suspect parks with lights off. They flee on foot, hiding in a backyard garage. MSP calls for air support to track their moves. 20 is clear at 221. Give me the air. He's getting back in his car, guys. He's going back to his car. Amidst the chaos, officers stay vigilant, ensuring safety. MSP swiftly captures the suspect, ending the chase. In a heart-pounding moment caught on police dash cam, chaos erupts on the streets of Brooklyn. The tension builds as viewers witness the minivan weaving through traffic, narrowly avoiding collision after collision. With each swerve and turn, the suspense intensifies, leaving everyone on the edge of their seats. But just when it seems like the chase might end, the minivan crashes into several vehicles, sending debris flying and bringing the pursuit to a dramatic climax. In a tense standoff, witnessed on Wednesday, November 10th, Fort Worth's SWAT team engaged in a confrontation with an individual in a white crew cab pickup truck. The situation unfolded after the suspect abandoned a grey Dodge pickup, which was carjacked before stealing a white GMC pickup, initiating a high-speed pursuit. Right now, uh, the end of a chase. This is all unfolding near Richmond Park Lane. The pursuit culminated in a neighborhood street, where the suspect barricaded themselves in the white pickup. Amidst the standoff, police deployed tear gas and utilized an armored vehicle in their efforts to apprehend the suspect suspect safely. Fortunately, the swift response of the SWAT team ensured the sole suspect involved in the incident was taken into custody, mitigating any potential threat to the public. In the heart of a New Mexico pursuit, legal twists add weight to the danger. Before 2003, running from cops was a small offense, but laws changed, making it a serious crime. The Law Enforcement Safe Pursuit Act, LESPA, now demands extra training for officers and strict chase rules, aiming for consistent policies across all police departments. golden retriever falls through the ice. With time ticking, the family frantically seeks help from a neighbor. Grabbing a canoe, they brave the thin ice to reach the stranded pup. Sergeant Sam O'Mernick arrives just in time, scooping up Rex and guiding the canoe to safety. Let's just grab the boat. Let's just grab the boat. Easier. You want him in the boat? He doesn't bite, does he? Oh. Cold, huh? The tension mounts as Rex, the dog pet, is pulled from the icy waters, but relief floods in as he receives a clean bill of health the next day. It's a heartwarming tale of bravery and rescue, proving that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Oh. You don't grab his back legs. Just like this. In a riveting scene caught on the Arkansas State Police dash cam, a high-speed motorcycle chase unfolds. Tension mounts as the motorcyclist darts through traffic, risking it all to escape. Against the backdrop of a Baptist church, the chase escalates, with speeds hitting dangerous levels. Officers urgently coordinate to stop the pursuit, but the motorcyclist's risky moves lead to disaster, a crash with a bone-jarring impact. In the chaos, officers' voices mix concern with determination as they assess the scene and move to catch the suspect. Despite the danger, they stay committed to public safety. In Cincinnati Metro, a dramatic police pursuit unfolded as officers apprehended a woman linked to a theft ring. On November 1st, 2021, Blue Ash police officers were alerted to a stolen vehicle traveling through the city. Attempting to intercept the vehicle at 4154 Hunt Road, officers initiated a stop, but the driver, realizing the trap, accelerated away, initiating a brief chase amid heavy traffic.
Despite losing sight momentarily, officers regrouped as the stolen vehicle attempted to exit the lot, resulting in a collision with a Blue Ash Police Patrol vehicle. Undeterred, the suspect continued southbound on Plainfield Road at dangerous speeds, evading pursuit until disappearing near Sycamore and Blue Ash Roads. Thanks to vigilant witnesses and the assistance of Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies, all three suspects were eventually apprehended after abandoning the stolen car. Edasia Treche Parsons, 21, faces charges of receiving stolen property and felony failure to comply. Hey, out of the way! Roll over! Roll over! Hands behind your back! Where is the rest of them? In a gripping scene, a stolen charger races through the streets, ending in a dramatic crash into a church during a high-speed chase. It all started when officers tried to pull over the speeding car, but the driver refused to stop, sparking a tense pursuit. As the chase heated up, the stolen car's tire blew out, leading to a devastating collision with the church. The impact sent shockwaves through the neighborhood, emphasizing the dangers of reckless driving and crime. I'm not entering to see if the suspect's what I'm put or not, because of the building, I want it to collapse on me. I heard some banging in the back, maybe it's like a breaking window. I'll check for that. In Mercer County, Ohio, a gripping police dashcam footage captures a high-stakes pursuit. From the perspective of the Rockford police chief, viewers are thrust into a harrowing chase with a carjacking suspect. Allegedly, the suspect stole a car after a crash and raced through Ohio's roads. Central crash, crash. 3501, your location. The pursuit intensifies as the suspect zooms at breakneck speed. Suddenly, a tow truck blocks the path, sparking chaos. Desperate to escape, the suspect swerves, causing the stolen car to roll over violently. Metal twists, glass shatters, but the suspect survives. In Hidalgo County, a gripping scene unfolds as DPS troopers engage in a high-speed pursuit with a smuggler at the wheel, his vehicle carrying four illegal immigrants, including a scared two-year-old from El Salvador. The tension mounts as the chase shifts onto dirt roads, climaxing with the driver abruptly abandoning the car and vanishing into the dense brush. In the midst of the chaos, troopers uncover the hidden passengers inside the vehicle, swiftly handing them over to Border Patrol. Meanwhile, the smuggler's attempt to escape justice hits a dead end as troopers track him down, hidden in the brush. Okay, they're all running westbound. They're all running west the presence of the young child highlights the seriousness of the situation. Caught up in the dangerous world of illicit activity, the cops manage to apprehend the smuggler as he now faces serious charges of human smuggling. Let's go. I have one in custody. Another one kept running west. In Hidalgo County, DPS troopers launched a gripping pursuit of a smuggler with a toddler in tow on US-83. The chase veered onto dirt roads, escalating as the driver abandoned the vehicle, disappearing into the wilderness. Just drove into a field and uh, received Upon searching the car, troopers uncovered four illegal immigrants, including a frightened toddler from El Salvador. Acting swiftly, they handed them to the border patrol. Despite the smuggler's attempt to flee, troopers apprehended him. 622, I'm in the area. As the sun peaked over the horizon, a daring escapade unfolded in Palm Coast. Two suspects, Hollins Mills, 19, and a 15-year-old from Orlando, kicked off a wild chase by swiping a Ford Mustang from a dealership. They dodged Flagler County deputies, igniting a high-speed pursuit. In left lane, 80 miles an hour. There one central, I think we got eyes. Still on the inside lane. But the plot thickened when Volusia County deputies entered the fray. Following a trail of adrenaline-fueled maneuvers, they unearthed the fugitives submerged in a residential pool in Delan's West Lake Victoria Circle. Flagler deputies relayed the Mustang's daring escape from an attempted traffic stop on Interstate 95. Air One tracked the Mustang's path onto Interstate 4, while ground units laid a trap with stop sticks at the State Road 44 overpass. The suspects ditched the stolen car near Orange Camp Road, disappearing into the Victoria Park subdivision. Corner of MLK and Arch Camp. Call off the one central. I'm right here. Which way did he go? 
So we got K9. Do not run after us. Set up perimeter. Deputies and Delan police sprang into action, cordoning off the area and launching a meticulous search. Within moments, Deputy Whitson and K9 Endo sniffed out the suspects, cornering them by the pool's edge. I got black shirt. You look at me. 